up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends news and updates and in the first 1.1.66 update it was really vague i told you there was some system adjustments that it kind of seemed like it was lost in translation well we have a bit more information about this and i want to go over these and kind of discuss some of this with you now on the system adjustments the first thing that they have adjusted is the match system optimization now team up players now are more likely to meet other teamed up players in battles a gang of five will not meet solo players this is huge okay so the problem that i thought has been happening is when you solo queue you're actually put into queue with other people that are in teams of two three uh, it used to be four now you can't have four players but you also had that minute chance of going up against a whole team of five players now hopefully with this adjustment this will be completely impossible and for the second part the match system optimization it optimizes the match experience for new players so if you are new to mobile legends you hopefully will not run across some of these issues anymore for the third part of the system adjustments with the match system optimizations now according to players account level there will be some extra elo addition players in the same ip address can enjoy an extra elo addition when they team up to play matchup mode or rank game low level players have less chances to be matched with high level players solo players have less chances to meet teamed up players and this goes along with the first part it was talking about but the account level adding extra elo that's something really different uh, i actually like this because if you were on an early account and it doesn't take long to get five heroes to jump into rank so you can literally jump into rank probably with a level five to seven account well you're going to run up against people that possibly have level 30 accounts and they have access to more battle spells than you do uh, they have higher emblems and everything so the chance of that now happening is significantly lower and hopefully these matches will become a lot better uh, this is what i've really honestly been waiting for is the matchup modes to be changed to where things are a bit more even now they did do some more changes and adjustments with this they adjusted the rewards for new players tutorials old players can get the corresponding compensation so uh, I, I'm not sure if we'll have to go back and do some tutorials, but if we do, it's just more rewards for us. So hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, new events, the new player gift pack. All players can claim this reward in the event hall. So that's something else they added. And the new player level event, this adjusts its reward. All players who have claimed rewards before will receive corresponding compensation. So regardless, if you've claimed something before, you will receive compensation for it and the third part for this is the battle points rewards from matchup mode rank game brawl mode and human versus ai will increase by 30 percent no matter if you win or lose the match now this is huge again in itself battle points have been something people have been complaining about since day one everybody's complained that 7500 battle points was not enough every week and they've complained that they've not been able to keep up with battle points to buy heroes and stuff like that but this changes 30 percent more that is a huge increase uh so hopefully you won't have any problems getting battle points to get some of these new heroes they're releasing now now they also adds three more heroes that can be bought with tickets ads it's not really a word but they added three more uh, which are Alucard for 399 tickets, Tigreal for 299 tickets, and Maya for 399 tickets. Now Tigreal, we do have some huge info on that as well. Uh, stay tuned for another video about Tigreal very soon. Uh, for the weekly login event, all players can win prizes by completing tasks. The rewards refresh every week. So they've added task completion uh, quests in, it looks like with this update. So every week you have new tasks that you can do. This is really awesome. Uh, it's going to basically probably end up giving you more rewards as far as battle points. You might see some tickets in there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll have to wait until the event comes out and we can see what it actually is going to be giving. They also did some live stream spectating optimizations. Uh, now opening a metal chest will give you light, which you can use in a live stream. Uh, scrolling speed of barrage messages is optimized. 
uh, I, I turn them things off anyway because they're quite annoying if you're spectating something. But hey, that's uh, that's pretty cool. When you open a chest, you can now get something that you can give to someone in a live stream. Uh, that's pretty cool. Arena contest registration rules, they changed these. Uh, this was not, another thing in the system adjustments that they had been working on. Uh, what they did, instead of one chance per day now, players need to wait 20 hours to join again for the arena contest. Now what the arena contest is, is the events that they've been running pretty much since day one against country versus country. They've been spreading this more and more, but now also the system will verify your player's IP address. So if your IP address does not belong to the participating country, you will be unable to register for that contest. That's huge because I have heard some higher level people talking about changing flags just to get into these contests. So that's pretty cool. They're actually picking up on stuff that something people are actually abusing and they have finally fixed it. Now players can click the again button on the reward page uh, to directly draw another lucky spin. Uh, I wouldn't draw too many of those, they get really expensive and the chances of getting it are probably pretty low. But, and the last part for this, uh, the bug repair, they repaired some of the problems with skins in the Mystic Shop. Uh, they didn't show the corner labels, so apparently they fixed that. But yeah, this is uh, a big chunk of information just out of the system adjustments. Really, really big for system optimizations. This, I would say by far, is the biggest, most important patch of this game in the past six to eight months however long it's been out i've lost count already but this is really really huge because this team matchmaking stuff has been a problem with players like myself that end up having a solo queue because friends aren't always online when i am so you know things are going to change and evolve with this game over time it's as expected but these are for the better and i'm very excited to see these changes made in the game if you have any questions about some of these changes, I know I've talked a lot about some of this stuff, but I'll feel free to ask questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer anything I can. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome system adjustments for the update for patch 1.1.66, guys. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.